Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in the latest version of ScreenFlow. The most current version is 7.3. This was released on Monday, March 19th, 2018. So when ScreenFlow 7 was released, whenever you drag clips onto the timeline, or when you were done recording and you added clips directly to the timeline, they went onto the timeline in sequence, meaning the video and the audio would always line up on the same track. And then you would have to manually take one of the clips and drag them underneath each other, right? I found that to be kind of a pain. Well now in this new version of 7.3, they made a little bit of a fix. So now when you drag clips onto the timeline, if you hold the shift key, you can see here that now it's gonna go in layers. They're gonna automatically line up one on top of each other, which is the way that I prefer. So if you just drag it on without doing anything, without holding the shift key, if you drag clips on, you can see here they're gonna line up in sequence on the same track. If you hold the shift key when you're dragging two clips on, now they're gonna line up below each, on top of each other. And just one thing I want to point out, when you are done recording, if you choose this to add clip to timeline, it is still going to put the video and the audio on the same track. They have not fixed that yet, so the fix is really only if you're dragging things from the media bin. So the quick recap, this is version 7.3 of ScreenFlow that came out on March 19, 2018. If you drag clips over from the media bin and don't do anything, it's going to put the video and the audio on the same track. If you drag the clips and hold the shift key, then they're going to line up the audio and the video one on top of each other. My name is Mike Murphy. That is your quick tip. Cheers.